Hi guys. Uh, you know guys, I oh it is a spectacularly gorgeous. It is a full moonlit night here. A full moon coming through the pines. I am up here at uh Seahorse in the Pines tonight. What happened to my little Oh, we got some blinking lights. Uh, I am up here in little Las Vegas up here at Seahorse in the Pines tonight on this glorious, it is a Wednesday night, September 18th, 2024. And guys, I try not to bore you too much with the, uh, <laughs> with the ups and downs of being a vacation rental host. Uh, <laughs> Here, here in the end times, dealing with these little spoiled brats and prima donnas and clueless fucking morons and whatnot. Uh, but, 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 but sometimes I, 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 I just ha have to share this story. And uh, this story does not involve seahorse. This story involves Blue Dragon Tiny House. Uh, Blue Dragon Tiny House... Uh, is, is, is like my house, okay? It's the tiny house that I live in. You see what I'm saying? When, when I don't have it rented out. So, uh, you, you know, it is kept up to, to it, minimally my standards. And, of course, uh, I keep it up, uh, you know, since I have guests coming in here for the night I uh, obviously I keep it to a higher level of cleanliness than uh, than I would do for myself and on top of all of this so yesterday we had a professional photographer out here uh, taking professional photographs of Blue Dragon, so we even went an extra step, uh, and you know, in getting the place all dolled up and stuff, you know, to go so we could get some professional photographs on the website to make it really look all spiffed up. So Blue Dragon probably looked better today than it uh, than maybe it has ever looked ever. And uh, so there was this uh, little bitch from Hawaii uh, coming in for three nights. This was a two. This was two hundred and eighty-seven dollars in my pockets. Is so to rent Blue Dragon for three nights. If it's two hundred and eighty-seven dollars in my uh, in my pocket, and when she booked the place. I noticed that she is a super host. She is a super host in uh, in Hawaii with a five star rating with like four hundred and eighty four reviews. And uh, so I am a super host with a five star rating with 184 reviews, so, uh, and I had, so a 4.95 rating over 184, so it probably shows that I am a five-star super host, so I know that this year, that this year, uh, I have had, I counted them, 58 reviews over all of the, you know, all, uh, covering all three of the tiny houses, and and I have a five, a perfect 100% five star rating. One of the categories you get rated on is cleanliness. Uh, you know, one to five stars. So uh, I have a 100% five star rating in cleanliness. I have never been insulted with a four-star rating in cleanliness, I charge no cleaning fee at Bugs in a Jar Farm. At Blue Dragon or any other one, my guests do not pay 
one penny of cleaning fees. I have my own YouTube channel called Finger Lakes Tiny Homes for Rent. And one of the videos I have on that, uh, on that site, I talk about the cleaning fees. And I'm going to update it uh, after this. So later on today, I am going to update the cleaning video. But in the cleaning video, I, I, I make it clear that people understand, number one, they are not charged a cleaning fee that I, I, you know, I am a single old man with no help. This is a one man show. I run this whole show. These are rustic tiny houses out in the woods. Okay. They, you know, what you're running here, I, I send this long letter of introduction whenever anybody books a place, uh, you know, explaining that uh, what Bugs in a Jar is, what it is not. Uh, I, I have the lead-off video is, Are You a Good Fit for Bugs in a Jar Farm? where, again, I talk about, you know, my level of cleanliness. That, uh, for what you're buying, you're, you're renting a rustic tiny house out in the woods, cleaned by, by an old man trying to run this business, and you're paying no cleaning fees, and, and, and I, I do everything I can to uh, tell people what to expect here. So, uh, this damn girl, this, this, this little, uh, this snotty little cunt, uh, she, she comes up here, she doesn't get here till after dark. So she can't see the place in the daylight. So I take her up to Blue Dragon and it's got, uh, it is pretty well lit down there in Blue Dragon. We get in there, she absolutely loves the place. I'm up there with her, showing her around. She absolutely loves the place. Everything that she was looking for. 100% thrilled with it. Was going to be here for three nights. So I go back down, and uh, I, I, I'm down there in, in Hummingbird uh, on the phone. And what I am doing, I am on a phone call. My buddy, uh, who lives in New Mexico, is thinking about. He was, he was, he's thinking about opening an RV park. And was he called me, just to, you know, knowing that I'm an Airbnb host. He's my age, actually, a couple of years older than me. Thinking about starting an RV park uh, to you know to make some extra money and, and we were having we were having this conversation and I'm thinking to myself Hambo be honest uh, with uh, with John here and and tell him to run as fast as he fucking can as diplomatically as I could. I was trying not to get him enthusiastic about the idea. You know, I, I didn't want to be just a total Debbie Downer and whatnot, but wasn't that hard to read between the lines about did he really want to get involved with being a vacation rental host? And, and, and I was describing, you know, telling him that people have no fucking idea what we go through. And I counted up, I have had 31 emails to, today. And this is after high season, you know, it's, it's just a few more people before I shut down here. I, I answered 31 emails today. I had two phone calls with guests, including uh, this little bitch. Uh, a, a long phone call to Airbnb support. Uh, I figured, you know, two to three hours 
and, and, and then of course, you know, I, I, I went and, and put on fresh, clean sheets and all of this shit, swept out, uh, you know, swept out Blue Dragon, took out the trash, blah, 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 brought it up to my level of cleanliness, which wasn't hard but, but from the photographer here yesterday. And, uh, and I'm describing all of this to him and, and saying, dude, you don't know what you're getting into. People have no fucking clue what vacation rental hosts deal with. Uh, dealing with these fucking people. Uh, I'm saying this as politely as possible. The middle of this conversation, this little cunt comes down there and goes, Sam, like, I need to talk to you, blah, blah. So I tell my buddy, I got to call you back. And uh, I, uh, I, you know, I shut down the computer and, and I'm thinking that she's there to complain about a mouse in the wall. That's what I just assumed she was there to tell me there was a mouse in the wall. And, and I said, well, what's going on? And, and she says, I cannot stay here. I, I said, what do you mean? She, she goes, I cannot stay at this Airbnb. This has never happened in, never happened in history. Never happened one time in history. And, and, and so I, 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 I said, what is that damn mouse already uh, up there chewing, and, and she goes, is, is she goes, it's not about a mouse. Is, she goes, that place is just filthy. She, she goes, I just don't feel safe there with how filthy it is. And, and, and I said, what? I, I, I said, what are you talking about, darling? Uh, I, I, I said, you do understand. I said, I, I realize that I am a five-star super host talking to a five-star super host. I, I said, I want you to understand that, uh, that every single person who has stayed at Blue Dragon uh, this summer, and as far as I know, everyone who stayed there has given Blue Dragon a five star on cleanliness. I've never, as far as I know, I've never had a four star on cleanliness, and, uh, and you're telling me that you do not feel safe spending the night in Blue Dragon, and then, and then, and then I said I even, and I told her about the photographer, uh, I, I said, what are you talking about that you don't feel safe uh, staying at, uh, at, at, at Blue Dragon? And she says, well, you know, I, I'd given her some tomatoes out of the garden. Uh, so she goes, well, she goes, I went to slice one of those tomatoes and... I reached for a knife, and there was dust on the knife holder. And I looked at her, and I, and I said, what? I, I, I said, dust on the knife holder? And, and she says, yeah. And she, she goes, there was dust on the knife holder? And, and then she goes, the whole kitchen counter. Uh, she, she goes, obviously... Uh, it, it had not been deep cleaned. That was her word. It had not been deep cleaned. And, 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 and she did not feel safe slicing a tomato onto a clean paper plate sitting on the, uh, on, on the shelf in the kitchen, and, 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 and I didn't know whether to laugh or, or, or to backhand the fucking little bitch uh, off the porch, and, and, and I said, darling, I said, did you read that long, long uh, letter that I send out to everybody? She said, I read every word of it. And uh, I, I said, okay, 
I, I, I said, did you watch the video that I specifically tell everybody to watch? Are you a good fit for Bugs in a Jar Farm? And she said, yes, I, I watched that video. I, I said, okay, so you watched that video. I said, you read that long letter. You watched that video and you decided that that, that uh, everything that you were a good fit for bugs in a jar and vice versa and she said well uh, there was nothing in there i said by any chance did you watch the clean the the cleaning fee and cleanliness video and she says yes i did i, I watched that one and, and i said so you saw me on video stating stating that if you are the type of person who runs who runs a white glove uh, down uh, down the window sills uh, and you know looking for dust on the window sills I, I said if you are that kind of person you are not a good fit for bugs in a jar and you need to find another place I said did you watch that video and she said she watched that video and I said darling I said go pack your shit uh, I, I said I'll give you your fucking money back and uh, so she went up there and packed her fucking car up, got the fuck out of here, sent her $287 uh, because she felt unsafe staying here because there was dust on the fucking knife holder. You know, what do you think she would have? said if you remember last year when I when I had the two rats in the barbecue grill could you imagine that fucking little uh, stuck up bitch uh, lifting up the the, the lid of the uh, of the barbecue grill and seeing two rats uh, in the grill well, I wonder what she would have thought of uh, of, uh, of that mangled rat uh, in the mouse trap down in the community kitchen with uh, with Sancho attacking that fucking rat uh, right in front of the community refrigerator. Uh, I'm sure that would have gone over real well uh, with, with her. Oh fuck! It's a, it's a good goddamn thing she never. Uh, Never, never saw that kitchen in the daylight, and, uh, and so she never even dealt with the mouse. And, and, and then, could you imagine her shitting in, in, in a fucking five-gallon bucket? Uh, I, I would like to see that little bitch uh, take a shit in a fucking five-gallon bucket. Uh, I, I, I mean, I was mad as a fucking hornet. Uh, I mean, I went off on that little bitch, and. and uh, and she goes, Sam, and she goes, we really don't need all of this drama uh, from you. And uh, she goes, y you simply need to do a deep clean uh, on this place. Uh, I said, I'll call my Amish woman friend uh, to come up here and do a deep clean uh, on this place for 500 fucking dollars. Uh, so, uh, I, I can charge you $90, uh, to spend the night here. I, I said, just get your shit and, 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 and get the fuck out of here. I mean, I did not use the F word, but she could certainly hear it in my voice. And, uh, so I have no idea what kind of trouble this little, uh, this little super host uh, is going to cause me, uh, so I called, uh, at Airbnb support after she left and, and talked to him about it. And I, I, I said, well, she canceled her reservation. I said, she never stayed here. She canceled her reservation and, and I gave her a, uh, a 100% refund. And the, and they said, sorry, Sam, that she has every right to leave a, a, a negative review. 
uh, about your listing. And uh, they said she probably won't. Uh, she probably won't. Uh, this was about an hour after she left. Uh, she said they, they had gotten no uh, notification from her about anything. And uh, they just said... Uh, but if she leaves a negative review, you will have a right to respond to her criticism. And I uh, said, you're goddamn straight I'm going to respond to the to the fucking criticism. You know, it's it shit like this. Shit like this. That it, it just takes the fucking fun out of this. dealing with this fucking bullshit from these fucking little spoiled brats. You know? I mean, what the fuck? You know, you meet these little, uh, these little prima donna, uh, whatever, full of themselves. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, are, are they going to look like in the fucking collapse of global industrial civilization? Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking little bitch is, is really going to have a fucking come up in, 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 in her goddamn life. So I hope she's out spending $500 a fucking night at uh, some goddamn hotel in, in Ithaca tonight. Jesus fucking Christ. I really get sick and tired of this shit. Fucking Hawaii. I, I, anybody from that fucking shithole state. I, even if they are fucking Howleys. I, I mean, the woman's not a Hawaiian... Uh, she, uh, she grew up in Maine and, uh, and, and lives over in, in fucking Hawaii now. I, I know just the fucking kind of type uh, that, that she is, you know, on her, uh, on her profile, uh, she talks about how she's into yoga. She's into fucking yoga. Oh, God. Fucking little limp dick lefties over there in Hawaii. I, I know exactly the, the fucking kind of little beautiful people uh, over there in Maui or wherever the fuck it is. Uh, they, they make me goddamn sicker uh, than the fucking native Hawaiians. I, I hope I, that fucking volcano blows. I want that whole motherfucking state buried in eight feet of fucking lava. Whatever the fucking volcano doesn't get. I hope it brings on a fucking tsunami. Washes every motherfucker off out of that shithole state. Uh, and sends them to the bottom of the fucking ocean. Starting with that little bitch. Anyway, it is midnight and I need to... Uh, get back to enjoying the light of the harvest moon shining through these beautiful pine trees which is what that little uh, bitch could have been enjoying tonight but I'm sure she's enjoying uh, Netflix at some fucking five hundred dollar hotel room that uh, maybe she won't feel unsafe spending the night in Jesus fucking Christ. Dealing with other people. You know, just, just fuck people. They really make me want to fucking puke. Every goddamn one of them. Bye, guys.